Okay, so I want to show you how to render a file in After Effects in a simple way. Um, the first thing you want to do is make sure you've set your work area bar where you want it to go. So you could bring your work area bar. If I only wanted to save this part of my movie out, I could set it there, but I want to save it to the end. So you probably want to have your whole composition saved. And then you go File, Export, Add to Render Queue. And when you add it to the render queue, it's going to open up the render queue here. You could actually render out a whole bunch of compositions at the same time. If I had, say, five different compositions from different scenes of my movie, I could, I could add them all to the render queue and then click render and go out to lunch or go to sleep or something like that. And um, so it gives you a list. And this list, there are these three different things that you could choose from in the list. Um, you could do the log too. That's a fourth, but don't bother changing that. The first thing you do, let's start on this one where it says output two. You click on, stop talking over there and please pay attention. You're going to need this, both of you guys. Now you ruined my video. Pay attention. Click on comp one where it says output two. Click on comp one. And this is where you're naming and saving your file. So this is just what you want to call it, where you want to put it. So I'm going to put it in the on the desktop um, and I will call it test render or final render, whatever, you'll you'll name it the number of your clip in this case, and click Save. Now you've got these two choices. Now if, you, if you're going to go all out for your final thing, probably just keeping it at best settings is fine. You could choose other settings, current, DV, draft. If you've got a lot of layers and you want to do a quick render, you could do draft and it'll save it a lower quality, and so it'll save it quicker. Um, but you probably want best settings. And I'll... You don't have to even click that, but I'll click it just to quickly show you what's in it. Inside best, it's asking you want full resolution, the size of it, and there are a bunch of different things. If you're using proxies, that like little files that you don't have your final artwork yet. So this is things that, that have to do with, um, with the settings in your timeline. Um, the only time you'll go into this menu, and the reason I'm, I went into here is to show you that if you want to save it out at a lower frame rate, this is where you do it. So say I wanted to save it at 60 frames a second or 5 frames a second, not just a lower frame rate, but I want to change a different frame rate, this is where I would click that. But, um, but really, just the quickest thing is just best settings. And then this one's important, very important, where it says lossless here. You can change it to uh, H.264 for what we're doing. And, um, and click on this. If you save your file and you notice that it doesn't have audio, it's because this audio output box is not checked. And the default on the regular setting is to not check it. But when I change it to H.264, it's checked it because it's assuming I don't want just a, a, um, a clip for continuing to work on. It's assuming that's my final little clip. But make sure that's set. Audio output. You click OK. And then you click Render. And then it's going to render it. You'll see it going down in the timeline here. You see it rendering on the screen. And when it's done, it makes this nice little sound. And then I can find my, uh, my thing on my messy desktop here. Double click this. And now I've got it as a, a movie and I could watch the movie play.